In the meantime, let's talk to the minister himself who is here with us this evening. Welcome, Frank Tumwebaze. Thank you, Rachel. Good. Glad to be with you. Good to have you here mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. Now, clearly you have rustled a few feathers mm -hmm. and, and we see that there's need for more time um, mm -hmm. with this exercise, which we agree is very important. We've mm -hmm. seen the queues, the endless mm -hmm. queues. Uh, people would like to register mm -hmm. their SIM cards. Why hasn't more time been allocated to this very important exercise? Thank you so much. Uh, for that question, but first of all, allow me to just briefly to bring into perspective the whole overall objective. Why are we doing this? Are we just doing it for fun? Are we just doing it for to inconvenience people? Like I said at the press conference, this is to put in place a sustainable framework for safeguarding national security. This is good for all. Mm -hmm. It may be bad for all in terms of inconveniencing you and me to register but the objective is national security. The security chiefs of this country have been presenting to government the difficulties they have in tracking criminals who would get unregistered SIM cards or SIM cards registered fraudulently with wrong identities and after executing, planning their missions with ease and sophistication, they throw them away. So that's the core objective. Mm -hmm. Now, when government started this exercise some time back, it's a multi-sectoral multi activity involving the Ministry of Internal Affairs, involving the intelligence services. Ministry of ICT and UCC were just sector regulators. So the point is, how do we facilitate Ugandans to register their SIM cards? We gave a one-month extension. Yes. We gave that extension because of being sensitive to the people's concerns. Well, some of which include that some people don't have I am coming to that, uh, yeah. Rachel. Mm. So we gave that one extension, OK? Always you have, always have mixed reactions. Some actually bash the government for not standing its ground. That's expected. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We gave a one month extension. The right honorable prime minister guided, and we, he actually signed off himself the announcement. One million, uh, one month extension. So we kept on g receiving complaints of people. The complaints border mainly on two points. People were worried that if at any point we switch off, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. there will be a loss of mobile money. People were worried on the delays in getting the actual uh, IDs. And these are the concerns Parliament raised. But what is also important to note is that the more we would extend the deadlines, the more people would slacken, the more they would just relax. We, we would see this. Whenever they know there's a deadline coming, the queues are intense. But the moment you, you announce, they withdraw. So, is, so this, is this a move for you to put your foot down and show Ugandans that you are serious about? Not only about that. Not yeah. only that. It's, not, it's not just uh, a show. It's because the broad objective I'm telling you cannot wait. We cannot continue to risk, it, to risk the majority of Ugandans. But what, what measures have we put in place specifically to answer the concerns of the public and the same concerns echo echoed by Parliament? Mm -hmm. Point number one, yesterday Parliament was concerned that if we switch off people who have mobile money deposited on those unregistered cards, they will lose the money. We have created a transitional window even if your voice is cut off and data as well, mm -hmm. you will be able to withdraw your money. So that nobody uh, suffocates claim, your income yes, claim. Yes. And if any, any, any telecom brings up an excuse of not accounting for anybody's money, they know the penalty they will face. So that's one way of addressing the concerns of the public and the concerns of, pa of parliament. Second, uh, there are people who continue to register. And when you register, you don't get a card. There is an organization called NIRA, which is responsible for registration, created by an act of parliament. And they also get time to come and talk for themselves. Now, what we have decided today is that if I register today and I haven't got my card, which has a national identity number, what they call the NIN, we have made the decision, okay, that by me registering and having an application form, mm -hmm which has a serial number. If you show proof of that, that you've registered, you will you be able... You can register your, exactly. your SIM card. So, honestly, the concerns of the public are being catered, uh, catered for. All but right. broadly, mm. the bigger concern mm -hmm. should be on the threat, really. Which is security. And, and I believe that all Ugandans are, are all for that. Mm. Communication from telecoms indicates that 92% of SIM cards have been registered. Mm. That seems a rather high number. Is yes, that true? It is true. If you... If you had time here, I would show you. This is the data we have, we have we, we've got from UCC. 
telecoms have no reason uh, to be, if in any case it would be worried that telecoms are under declaring numbers for reasons you may suspect. So MTN has submitted 9.9, .9, Airtel 7.7, Africel 1.2, UTL 180,000, Vodafone 30,000, Smile and so on. Mm -hmm. So that's a good number. That's a good number. First of all, we should be curious. Those other people who have not registered, if they are our ordinary people who are being inconvenienced by not getting the IDs, rightly so, then that's why we are creating a window of facilitating them to register temporarily with the serial number of their registration of their application slips. Then when they get their IDs, they will be confirmed in the system. But those who do not want to register, that's where the worry is. Mm -hmm. Because every criminal who has been arrested or suspect, you will find them with over 100 SIM cards. That tells you, tele mobile phone telecommunication, however good and universal it is, it's an avenue for facilitating good and bad things. And we're trying to mitigate the bad side. Mr. Tumebaze, I'm running out of time. I need to have yes. so much to ask yes. you. Yes. Apart from security, what yes. other advantages are there? We understand that security, both national and personal, are the ultimate goal. Yes. What other advantages are there to this exercise? We get to know the people registered with the telecoms. In a way, you would be fighting fraud over the declaration. Those could be the other secondary benefits, a host of them. And you plan accordingly yeah. for the My final question to you. Mm. The president tweeted earlier today, mm. and I quote, I support efforts of authorities to mm. register SIM cards, mm. and he's urging everyone to adhere to the deadline. It's a mm. critical step mm. in the fight against crime. Mm. Aside from this, we, we know that there are other spaces that mm. criminals can use, for mm. example, WhatsApp or mm. Facebook, mm. Uh, to, to, to um, get involved in crime. Mm. Are you thinking about these spaces? I think you can have a conversation with the security sector, really. I am, I am not an expert. You can have a conversation at some stage. But glad that you point out that the president tweeted. This is not an individual activity. It's not a Frank Tumweba's activity. It's a government collective position. Tumweba comes out because he has to speak for government. So it's a, a government position in its mandate of uh, putting in place safeguards for national security. Worldwide, all over. Mm -hmm. Getting a SIM card is not as easy as you think. You have to put everything. You, some countries they can't even give you. You, you, you sure and all this. So I really appeal to members of the public. I will take time to make my case to members of parliament who legitimately are raising these concerns because of the people we represent. I will make my case and I hope they will see the logic of government. All right. As we conclude, would you like to comment on the, the speaker's uh, summons for, you know, he says that, you, she says rather that you are, are going against a directive by parliament. I will explain myself. You and with, with due respect, I will appear if summoned. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Honorable, for coming to uh, speak to us. Mm. Uh, we will continue um, with our bulletin.